Why are you staring at the fridge? We're not staring at the fridge, Dad. We're looking inside it with our x-ray vision. Yeah, we can see what's behind the door. I see eggs. And fish. And an empty milk carton. Go ahead, check. What about this big milk puddle here? Someone could slip. Anyone can see that. We're showing you our superhero x-ray powers. Superheroes, huh? The superest. Let's find out if you really are the superest. How? With a contest. A contest? Yeah, in a super story called The Superest Superhero. Every year in Supertopia, a super judge would decide who was the superest superhero in the land. Are you ready for something super? Super! Then let the contest begin! Hi, I'm Tutu, and I am super psyched to show you how super I am. Nice Tutu, Tutu! There's a little fuzzicle stuck in a tree outside. That sounds really neat, but I'm trying to win Superest Superhero of the Year here. Oh. All right, Tutu, show us what you got. Well, I jump high. Well, that was the super it. Or was it? It's time for Mondo Mouse! <laughs> Excuse me, but there's a fuzzicle stuck way up in that tree. Really? You think he'd like my autograph? No, he just wants to get down. So what makes you so super? My Mondo Muscles. <laughs> mini Muscles, you mean. How's this for Mini? <gasps> Stop! <laughs> That's enough! Just get stuck! Oh, yeah. Put it down! Yeah. Put it down! Yeah. Well, wasn't that the superest? Or was it? Come on, Kate! It's our turn! Yeah! We're super -er superheroes than them! The superest! Go, go Kitty Kitties! Let's go! Will you please welcome the X-Ray Kitten! is still stuck in that tree and he's scared. Sorry, but we've got a superhero contest to win. The superest. Oh. So, let's see what you've got. Mondo, did you enjoy that chunk of stinky cheese you had for breakfast? Hey. Probably not as much as Tutu liked her giant peanut ice cream cone. It was good. Super. So, Who's our winner? Tutu the Elephant, Mondo Mouse, or the X-Ray Kittens? Hey, look! Hang in there, Fuzzicle. I'll save you! I think we have our winner! But she can't jump high like me. And she isn't super strong like me. And she doesn't have X-ray vision. Being a superhero is not about what powers you have, but about how you use your powers to help others. Oh. I guess you're right. Hmm, have to try that. Little girl, you are the superest hero in all of Supertopia! Super? Great story, kittens. I knew he was going to say that. I saw it in his brain. So, if I put something in the fridge, you can tell me what it is? Halt, Father. Father! Of course we can guess what it is. But first, we must clean up that milk so no one slips and gets hurt. That's what superheroes do. My heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Beware! Zoom, zoom, zoom! Um... Kit? I'm not Kit. I am the powerful Atomic Kitty. 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 How about using some of your special power to help clean up the yard? Atomic Kitty would rather use his special powers to destroy things like that evil rake. Rake. Prepare to feel the crunching power of Atomic Kitty. 
give your powers a little break while I tell you two a story about a mountain goat who had special powers of his own. And what's the name of the story? Chew on this. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, in the mountain town of Godica, lived a young goat named Goaty. I'm hungry. Help yourself to a pickle. Thanks. Have as many as you like. <laughs> wow, you really are hungry. <laughs> and a barrel, too. I've never seen that before. But I'm still hungry. I gotta see what he's gonna eat next. I wanna see that, too. So do I. Then what are we waiting for? Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! So what's next, Goaty? Not sure, but I'm feeling the need to chew. I am hungry. Help yourself. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, awesome! Oh, Incredible! Well, how was it? Crunchy, but I'm still hungry. So, what do you say? One scoop or two? I'll take the whole cart. Oh, my! <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> All right! Wow! Hey! Eat my bulldozer! Okay! Goody! Come on! Goody! 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 Yeah! You'll make me proud to be from Godica. Thanks. Guess I was born to chew. So, what are you gonna eat next? I could eat the whole town! Done! That's everything! But I'm still hungry. What about the bridge? Yeah! Bridge! 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 bridge. This will be my greatest eat ever! The Golden Goat Bridge. Eat our bridge! Eat our bridge! Eat our bridge! Eat our bridge! Hey, where does the bridge lead to, Goaty? It leads to our fields where we grow our food. Wait, but if you eat the bridge, you'll all go hungry. Oh, don't eat our bridge! So, should I go to the fields and eat all of our food? No! But I need to chew. You want me to eat? Rocks? Hmm, it's really tasty. You can eat rocks? Apparently so. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Goaty, we know something you can really sink your teeth into. Oh, yum! Mount Goatmore! Yay! Goaty! Goaty! And that's how Goaty learned to use his special chewing powers to do something good. Pickle? Nah, I think I'm full. <laughs> yeah! Great story, Grandpa. Yeah! So, how will you use your special powers? Leaves! Prepare to feel the incredible reeking power of... Atomic Kitty! 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 Kitty. Ah. All right, time for bed, kittens. Aw, if we were grown-ups, we could stay up late. That would be so much better than being a kid. Wouldn't it be great if there was a machine that could let you change who you are? Hey, why don't we make up a bedtime story about that? Yeah! And I know just what we'll call it. The Changeinator. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an inventor who invented all sorts of things, like a machine... That would tickle you! <laughs> <laughs> and another that could... Eat your vegetables for you! But his greatest invention was the Changeinator, which could change you into whatever you wanted to be. Yes! Ah, it's finished. Now I just need a couple of guinea pigs. We could be 
guinea pigs. Or regular pigs. Or aardvarks. Or anything. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Hi, we'll be your guinea pigs. But actually, we prefer to be bats. Great! Yeah, bats can stay up all night. And fly wherever they want. Then bats it is. Put these on. If you decide you don't like being bats, call out Changeinator, and you'll get sent right back here. That'll never happen. Ready? Ready! Wow, we're really bats. And we're really flying. In the middle of the night. Whee! Baddies, dinner. Just in time. I'm hungry. Me too. You're in luck. I made your favorite. What's that? Bugs. What else? Yuck! What do you mean, yuck? Bats love bugs. Not this bat. Changeinator! What? You didn't like being bats? The flying was amazing. But eating bugs? That's gross. Well, would you like to be something else instead? How about fish? Yeah, it'll be awesome to swim underwater. Then fish it is. Ready? Ready! Wow! Swimming's even better than flying! <laughs> Your bubble looks like a crab! How about this one? <laughs> a turtle! How about this? Shark! No! Duck! No! No, kid duck! A shark! just cleaned that. I don't want to be a fish. I want to be a skunk. Then skunk it is. P.U. You stink. I want to be a porcupine. Then porcupine it is. Ow! That hurt. Sorry. I want to be a snake. Then snake it is. Ah! I want to be a tyrannosaurus. Wait! There's only enough changeinator juice for one more change. Whatever you become next, that's when you'll stay forever. Then we want to be kittens. Ah, good choice. Kittens it is. And so Kit and Kate turned back into kittens and landed safely in their own beds. Their warm, comfy beds. Yeah. Sure you don't want to switch places with me? I'll go to sleep, and you can stay up late to do the laundry and dishes. Sounds really fun, Mom. But we'll just dream about it instead. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody ready for the beach? Yeah! But in the sun, here we come. Ah. Uh. We can't go swimming when there's lightning outside. No fair, Grandpa! We've been planning this forever! This was gonna be the best day! Now it's the worst! I'm sorry, kittens, but this is out of my control. I'll tell you what, maybe we could make up a special big story. About... Fuzzicles? Yeah! Fuzzicles who got to do just what they planned. Okay, and what should we call this story? I know! That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there were some fuzzicles who loved to go to... The dentist. No, to concerts. And today they were planning to see their favorite singer, Fuzzy Fuzzbottom. <laughs> Just when they were about to leave, a tree fell right on the car. And they couldn't go to the concert after all. The end. No problem, Grandpa. They didn't even need the car. Right. They could just walk there. 
Oh, but when they got to the bridge, it collapsed for no reason. And so the Fuzzicles stayed home and ate soup. The end. No, Kate and I totally got this, Grandpa. We'll take them ourselves. Yeah, in a kitty copter. A kitty copter? Yeah! yeah. Go, go, kitty kitties, let's, let's go! Come on, Fuzzicles. We're taking you to the concert. Nothing can stop us now. That's what they thought, because just then it started raining. No problem. The kitty copter can fly through rain. Uh-uh. It started raining cheese balls. Whoa! It's a cheese ball hurricane. Our pierogi blasters are overwhelmed. We'll have to land this thing and wait until it stops. Good thinking, Kate. Looks like that was the last cheese ball. Nope, there was still one more. Ready for that soup now? No, we got this. We'll just have to walk to the concert from here. Come on, Fuzzicles. We'll be there in no time. But then suddenly a giant scary monster stepped out of the forest and blocked their way. You'll never get past me. Worry, I got this. Ah, a monster! <laughs> Way to go, Kate. Let's hurry. We can still make it on time. See, I told you nothing could stop us. Are you ready? <laughs> then let's hear it for the fuzziest part of the ball. The concert was canceled. I'm sorry, you guys, but there's nothing we can do. And after the Fuzzicles put on their own concert, they went home and ate a delicious dinner. Soup? With a side order of cheese balls. <laughs> Kittens, I told you to clean your room an hour ago. Yeah, but we're still playing. <sighs> Ow! I want everything put away now! He's really mad. It's your fault. Mine? It's your mess. But it was your toy. Ugh. Hey! What's going on? Nothing. Nothing! Hold on, kittens. Where's the Christmas cheer? It's all gone. Huh. Well, I've got a Christmas story that might turn that mood around. I doubt it. Me too. Anyhow, what's it called? The Grumpy Elves. Ugh. One Christmas Eve, Alfred was showing Santa his latest creation. Achoo! What a cute doggy! Oh, that's not all! Achoo! The children will love that! Gather the toy builders! Achoo! Hey, you could be two of Santa's elves. Maybe it'll help you turn that grumpy mood around. I doubt it. Go, go Kitty Kitties, let's go. Okay, elves, it's toy time. Kid and Kate, you collect the parts. Elvira, you assemble, and I'll paint. Yeah. Remember, happy elves make happy toys. Whatever. There. Thanks. One hover dog. Coming right up. Hmm. Something doesn't seem quite right here. Maybe Kid and Kate gave you a few wrong parts by mistake. Maybe Elvira's just stinky at putting things together. <gasps> stinky? You call this stinky? Just watch. 
<sighs> See? I told ya! Ow! Look what you made me do! It's okay, Elvira. Accidents happen. Hey! You splattered us with paint! Newsflash, kittens! I banged my thumb with a hammer! How am I supposed to paint the toy now without any paint? Use your beard! How about I use you? Oh, here comes Santa! Achoo! Alfred, what's going on here? Well, you see, uh... How did this happen? She ruined my beard! They gave me the wrong pieces! Well, we, um... We were in a bad mood. Oh, we can't have that. If you're not careful, a bad mood can spread like a... Like a bad cold. But I know just the trick to turn a stinky mood around. When I'm feeling grumpy or when I'm feeling blue, I have a silly game I play and you can play it too. You do a silly dance and make a silly sound. Oh, ah, ee, oh, ah, ah, ee. And pretty soon your stinky mood will start to turn around. When I'm feeling grumpy or when I'm feeling blue, I have a silly game I play and you can play it too. You do a silly dance. Go on, try it! And make a silly sound. And the elves' stinky mood really did turn around. They worked happily together, making toys for all the good boys and girls, until Santa's sleigh was packed up and ready to fly. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Achoo! And pretty soon your stinky mood will start to turn around. Thanks for turning our stinky mood around, Mom. Hey, Kit, what happens if I press this button on you? I change into a room cleaning robot. Me too. Me three. Now that's how you spread the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Kittens, it's time for your soccer game. Me and Hoppy are ready. Boing, boing, boing. Hold everything. I can't play the game. I'm missing Cuddly, my good luck cow. All right. While Dad looks for Cuddly, why don't we make up a story together? Yeah, about a cow. Who jumps really high. How high? Over the moon! <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a cow named Mama Moo. And she was the greatest jumping cow in the world. Folks would come every month from far and wide to watch Mama Moo jump over the moon. Moo! Moo! Moo. 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 Oh. And Mama Moo always landed in style. Ow! I think I hurt my leg. Sorry, but it looks like your moon jumping days are over. Bo, that means on the next full moon, it's your turn to jump over it. Me? Jump over the moon? Wow! But everyone will be watching. I can't do it. Don't worry, Bo. I get a little nervous, too. That's why I have my good lucky ping pong ball. Want to try it? Uh, no, thanks, Mom. I'll get my own lucky ball. With my lucky bouncy ball, I can jump over that stool. Okay, not bad. Next, I'll jump over that fence. But I'll need my lucky soccer ball to do that. Ha-ha! <laughs> What's next? Hey! Yes! Ready to jump over the moon, Bo? It's time. Sure, but for that I'll need to add this lucky cannonball. What am I going to do? 
Wait, if I put them in that airplane, they can fly next to me when I jump over the moon. But who will be the pilots? Kate, we can be the pilots for Bo. Yeah, and fly right next to her with her good luck balls. Go, go kitty kitties, let's, let's go! Pilots Kit and Kate reporting for duty. We'll get these balls loaded up. And you'll have all the luck you need. A ton of it. Your good luck is all loaded. Then let's do this thing. Wish me luck? What for? You got all the luck you need in the back of this plane. <laughs> Gonna make it! Thanks to you and those lucky balls! Uh-oh! <laughs> she did it! She still has to land! Oh, wow! She might even be better than her mama! Don't get carried away. Way to go, Bo! I knew I could do it with these lucky balls by my side! Hey! What are the balls doing here? Sorry, Bo, but they were here the whole time. You mean I made that jump all by myself? You sure did. Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the story, Mom. Sorry, Kate, but I couldn't find your good luck cow. That's okay, Dad. I'm ready for this game. I can play without her. Besides, Peggy will give me all the luck I need. Let's do this thing. Get ready for boom time. Hey, kittens, you seen my rain boots? Mom! Mom! <gasps> you can't just take things and fill them with... Ugh, why didn't you ask? Well, you shouldn't be spying on us. Spying? I'll tell you about a spy. Really? I love spy stories. Me too. What's it called? Secret Agent Mouse. Ooh. Once upon a time, there was a secret agent. The name's One. Agent One. Ha! Ha! Hiya! And his latest mission was going to be his most dangerous yet. And I'm gonna need help from the Masters of Disguise on this one. Agents Two and Three. Hey! That can be us! Shh! It's a secret. Oh, yeah. Right. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Agents, we just received this video. Hey, Baron Parmesan here. If you don't send me one squabillion dollars by tonight, I will set off my invention that will turn everyone's candy into stinky cheese. <laughs> oh, this is serious. The Baron's evil laboratory is hidden here, behind his cheese counter at the supermarket. Agents, I need you to keep the Baron busy while I sneak into his secret lab, find that device, and turn it off. Got it. And we know just the disguises for this mission. Well? Perfect. See you at the market. Agent One's gadget bag. These are cool. Let's borrow them. Sure. We'll give them back to Agent One at the store. Great. We're in. Oh, does Baby want a gadget? Rocket boots? <laughs> X-ray glasses? <laughs> Robot arm? <gasps> Whoopsie. <laughs> Hello! I'm in. It's time. Good day, sir. I'd like to buy some cheese for my grandson. What a cute little fella. Baby like some Emmental? <laughs> Monchego. Yeah. Brie? Steelton? Hello? Agent 3, I'm trapped like a rat, and all of my gadgets are missing. Oh, 
Is everything okay? Oh, yes. Will you just watch the baby for a minute? Grandma needs to wee-wee. Gloucester. Gorgonzola. Gouda. I'm sorry, Agent One. We borrowed your gadgets without asking. Toss me the rocket boots. Hurry! Stinking Bishop. Yuck! What was that? Don't you have any plain old cheddar? Hey, you're not a baby. Huh? <laughs> Here are your gadgets. And just in time. No! X-ray glasses. Here it is. Oh, that was close. Come on, there was a whole second left. Well, it looks like jail for you, Baron. Then, do you think maybe I could borrow those rocket boots? Polite of you to ask, but no. Processed the cheese food, here I come. <laughs> a funny story. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. We should have asked first. Thanks for saying so, Kit. But don't worry. You can borrow the bear's boots instead. <laughs> <laughs>